Being in New York City covering the September 11th events was a surreal experience. Never have I seen New Yorkers so compassionate and concerned for the person next to them instead of just mowing you over on the way to do more business on another busy day in another busy city. Everybody took a step back. Everybody looked to see and ask if the person next to them was okay. My assignment was centered around the fire stations and the vigils being held in New York City. One incredible moment happened when Sarah Richards and I, the journalist I was working with, visited a fire station where the wife of one of the missing firemen was convinced that her husband was coming back on the next truck. Sarah sat and chatted with her and slowly through the conversation she began to come to terms with the fact that her husband wasn't coming back. Next thing I know, the two of them are sitting on the sidewalk in front of the fire station next to a parked truck surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of bouquets of flowers crying their eyes out. Sarah, a seasoned journalist who's covered the Chechnyan conflict and the Bosnian conflict, and the wife of the fireman, who slowly has just come to terms and completely broken down. Everybody stayed away. Everybody walked around. None of the firemen came out to see her. The two of them just sat there for the time that it took. Eventually, she got up, walked back into the station. Sarah got up, wiped her eyes, and we both walked away in silence. Every year, I return to New York City with my daughter. We wander the streets, documenting the crazy, frantic pace of New Yorkers. And every year, we return and visit one of the fire stations that I spent time at September 11th.